Пока что дадим слово гроссмейстерам, которые сыграли первую очень-очень запоминающуюся партию. Напоминаю, что Максим Вашье Лаграф лидирует в турнире, а Майк Ладом состает на пол очка. Okay. Um, well, we played this uh, line in the uh, H3 Nidorf. I, I don't know, it's quite a forcing line. Black tries to uh, equalize immediately by breaking in the uh, center. Довольно форсированная линия в варианте Nidorf. Черные пытаются немедленно уравнять с помощью прорыва в центре. Um, I think you had one game like this previously. Probably I had a couple of games. I mean, I played this a lot. Especially from white side. Ah, okay. Maxim несколько раз играл этот вариант, особенно белыми. Recently, I was playing, I think, e5, knight e2, h5 instead of e6. Yeah, I saw a couple of games. Like yeah, this. but okay. It's okay. Yeah, no, this is it's another game. Yeah. Шестой ход e6 редко встречается в его репертуаре. Okay, well, I mean, I think not too much new. I don't know. I mean, I was wasn't so familiar with taking everything on c3 immediately. Well, I had two games with white uh, after bishop takes his three. Ah, okay. So, I mean, Stephen Gordon played queen a5 against me. Uh-huh. And, and uh, Negi played queen c7. I think queen a5 is very dangerous. Uh, Michael didn't know the variant связанного with the double taking on c3. Maxim said that he played twice with white. Yeah, okay. In general, it's dangerous for black to let the queen come to d6 in these positions. Yeah. Yeah, in general, this position... Um, Black has to manage to somehow, I mean, get uh, all his queen side out. I mean, what, once it's done, it's okay. But uh, before that, there are really a couple of unpleasant questions to to answer. В этой позиции задача черных вывести фигуры ферзя у фланга. Когда им это удастся без особых потерь, то у них не будет проблем. Но пока это не так просто сделать. Нужно ответить на ряд непростых вопросов. Yeah, so that's why I didn't consider CFC taking the pawn on C3. I mean, it's uh, the other priorities in this position. Even if maybe it's not so bad. Поэтому он не рассматривал даже взятие на C3 в этой позиции. У него были другие приоритеты. Yeah, of course I didn't think you would take it, but uh, okay, it's uh, yeah. Okay, okay, I mean let's see. Maybe what the computer th takes it. Yeah, yeah, this is my point. Maybe. But okay. Anyway, let's let's because okay, what we played in the game, it's quite forcing, I guess. This yes. B five, C four looks normal. Yeah. 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 If I play B four immediately, then Rook B four, I guess. Yeah, possibly. Possibly, I can. Довольно форсированная линия. Or even, or even C three here, it's a bit different. Yeah. Yeah, but this guy thought A five maybe, but this actually because if I can take this pawn on C four, I should be fine. But no, Queen D six and. Bishop c5 is coming. So, so, yeah, I didn't know what to answer. Otherwise, maybe I would have played it. Непонятно, как отвечать, Чарл. Queen d6 normally a yeah. normally a good move. Yeah. No, but rook d8. So basically, the most critical line should be this. I mean, probably queen e2 is slightly better, but this. Was could just be a first win, but I don't think so. So queen d8 because I didn't like knight d8. Надо посчитать нет ли здесь форсированного выигрыша. Because bishop a8, queen c4, no rook d1, and I have problem with this knight on d8. It looks very dangerous. Even queen c7, c4 might just be winning. So queen d8. Bishop c6. So bishop d7 because if I play rook b8, rook d1 now. And if queen c7, bishop f4 is slightly unpleasant. Немного неприятный удар слоном. So bishop d7, bishop a8, queen a8, rook d1. No, I guess I have to go to e8 to cover the back rank in case of bishop b6. And mm. here I thought I was holding, but mm, it was mm, very dangerous. I mean, if bishop b6... I think I have to play with f6 because if I play h5, rook d8, queen c6, h5, c5, and then rook d1 and rook d6 is coming. Ladia d1 and ladia 1 d6. So I don't know exactly. I mean, I can play king h7 because if in case of rook d1, take take and queen e4 is holding, but after rook b3, 
things look very dangerous because my bishop cannot move at all. And in, you probably cover every perpetual check. So I thought, so I thought f6 is more to the point, rook d8, queen c6, c5, king f7. But even here I wasn't sure because... Поэтому этот вариант Максим считал основным, но даже здесь не был уверен в оценке. Because at some point, I mean, here I want to get, still want to get my bishop out, but if I play queen f3, for instance, and queen f4, then rook e8, king h c6 is very dangerous as well. I'm not sure if it's not just winning. Очень опасно здесь за черных, может быть, даже белые выигрывают. So, I was considering all this kind of things. Yes, probably e5, yeah. No, I thought I was holding, but uh, I wasn't completely sure. I mean, th that's my point. But of course, the problem of playing such concrete play with white mm, is yes. either you find a win or it's also starts to be very get, dangerous get for as soon as I get yeah, yeah. Yeah, my bishop on uh, this diagonal. So. В целом, оба игрока говорят, что очень сложный вариант, и нужно, чтобы так сыграть, быть so, абсолютно so уверенным, посчитать все до конца. So if I take on d8, maybe I have to bishop e8 or something like that, and then take on b5. Yes, Can I just go back, queen e2 somewhere? I, then you have knight d4. Yeah, yeah or knight a5, knight c4. Yeah, and no. I mean, I should be better for knight d4. Coin, I mean, yeah, once no. I get this pawn structure and everything is no developed, yeah, it should be fine. Or can I play c4 after? Just as soon as the red gets such a square structure, knight c5, knight c5, queen f4, queen f4. Or queen G3. Some queen G3. Yeah. Uh, if I take. And bishop B6, you just go back. Yeah. yeah it's it should be okay. Queen E4. Должно быть в порядке черный здесь. Looks yeah, yeah. Maybe it's maybe it's okay. Yeah, because then I would play knight for bishop C6. Yeah. Yes, I mean, like this, probably. It's okay. It's not completely equal, but it should be fine. Yeah. No, maybe it's not a full equality, but the red is going to be the best. Yeah, no, I'm not completely sure about B4, but it looks very normal. Not fully sure on the score of B4, but it looks very normal. But I thought it just slightly worse after take on B5. Maybe B8 is a little worse for the red. I didn't know exactly which move, but it just looks slightly worse. In any case, but maybe. Yeah, I could play rook f d one here. <coughs> yeah, and maybe just take and. I mean, because what I played is very forcing, but uh, it can also just not be good. So maybe like uh, this way of playing was more was safer. I mean, I'm just slightly worse, and I can try to hold because so my pawn on b five is. Uh, very strong as soon as uh, it prevents uh, all the any coincide uh, move with the pawns. Возможно, этот вариант лучше, чем то, что случилось в партии, потому что здесь у черных просто чуть худшая позиция, но ничего особенно страшного нет. А в партии получилась форсированная игра и было намного опаснее. And if I somehow manage to get my bishop on uh, this diagonal to exchange uh, light squared bishop, I can even dream of getting a better position, but of course it's not uh, really <laughs> going to happen, I guess. <laughs> Ну и если в этом позиции белые позволят разменять велопольных слонов по большой диагонали, у черных просто станет лучше, хотя этого, скорее всего, Майкл не допустит. No, okay, I think before, I think what you played was good because I think you have to get active somehow. Ну, Майкл, правда, считает, что b4 хороший ход, по крайней мере, с практической точки зрения. No, I agree. It's to, to know what to do. Yeah. Yeah, here's the same idea. I can just play rook b8, but it's a worse version than uh, rook b8 on move 17. Yeah, it just like it was and, and no up counter play. So, but I completely missed bishop c5. Of course, I wasn't expecting to take on the b4. Slon c5, he didn't see. Yeah, I mean, if I take and you go this knight e5, I thought it was. I didn't see what to play actually. Uh, well, c5. Because I have this nice trick, but it brings absolutely nothing. I mean, just b5 and 
probably I will soon resign. So if you take and give some check. Yeah, but so my it was not working. I mean, Queen C so Queen B seven. I don't know. Position Bela, Queen B seven. Maxim thought that even F three and B five. Problems are still quite sharp. Ah, yeah, the idea of playing Knight D four anyway. I mean, and go back to the game. Yeah, of course it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Of course it could transfer. Yeah, I mean that's why I played rook d7 uh, because uh, I was reassured that I had this because I can play some simple rook b8. But the thing is, I still don't threaten to take on c3, so I thought even yeah, queen e3. Queen e3 I thought was yes. Yeah, так как черные не грозят взять на c3, можно просто пойти с c3. Taking on before is serious threat, so this position is very unpleasant. No, I thought I had to force events. Поэтому нужно форсировать упрощение. Because if no queen is here, I mean I can just take on a3. I thought, and, and at some point knight d8, and it should be decent position. Вот здесь уже должна быть неплохая позиция у Чарна. Yeah, I mean, okay, I could maybe go a b4 first. Можно включить a b. Queen is here. Queen e3 or some other move, maybe. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't look like a serious way to. Не выглядит серьезная попытка игры на победу. Yeah, probably. Yes, and. See this queen e3 after knight d4. Давайте посмотрим на ферзь e3. Bishop takes, king takes. I thought I have to do some check because if I have maybe queen e4, so queen c6 first or queen yeah queen c6. But then I can go maybe f3. Yeah. Because then I'm coming queen e4. Теперь ферзь e4 появляется возможность. Yeah, no. If queen e4 comes, it might be quite bad. If you go e5. Yeah, probably e5. Посмотрим e5, ферзь e4. If no rook. Maybe just rook c8. Rook d8. I cannot. Okay, maybe rook d8. Just to prevent. And then knight e6 is next. No, it's not next because bishop e3. Okay, the lucky thing is it's difficult to do anything with this bishop and this pawns quite. Just yet, but okay. But I should do this. Yes, much better than. Yes, it's very dangerous. 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 Yes, at least now F2 is somehow lots of pieces defending F2. Yes, yes. No, it shouldn't be. No, okay. This is what I should do. Really. Yeah. Явно следовало бы почистить все три вместо слон до четыре. Oh, sorry. Rook D1. Здесь еще был вариант не брать на G2, а пойти лазить до один. Because I guess I have to take on H3. If I play Queen B7, of course Queen E5 is unpleasant. На ферзь b7 неприятно, ферзь e5. So Поэтому, наверное, надо брать на h3. No queen e5 anyway, and Но все равно ферзь e5. I, you force exchange of queens, and this was looking very dangerous. И это казалось довольно Because опасным. Because this pawns run fast. Maybe I'm still holding. Пешки белых очень быстро be бегут. Very tight thread. Возможно, это защитимая позиция за черных, но опасно. Yeah, no, it looks good actually. No, okay, I had to do one of these, of course. Yes, because here somehow I managed to create enough counterplay with my rooks and some h5 coming, so probably you have to give up one of the pawns indeed. А после этих разменов у черных уже должна быть какая-то контрагра, связанная с h5 и действиями ладей. Yeah. No, okay. Well, the game has. 
kind of drawer, I guess. So let's just see. C5, уже, в сущности, ничейная uh, позиция. You said rook b8. Yeah, but h5 also. H5. No, but h5 or d1. This was not yeah. present. Well, but then maybe rook f4. I wasn't sure. Still. Yes, I know, but uh, uh, I mean I prefer to to get back the pawn yeah, back. If yeah, you can take if the I can. Yeah. So rook b8, and uh, yeah, because I thought it was okay. Rook f d1. I have to play. Take take. Oh, maybe I thought, can I try rook d6 here, I thought, perhaps. Probably you can try, but it's not clear you're doing so much. Maybe there's something you need. Uh, I can't do. Because even if you get the pawn on c6, then it's still a long time from advancing further, I mean. For instance, queen c4, rook c8, queen d4, h6, c6, and maybe I can just wait in this position. So I don't want to, but. Может здесь черные могут просто стоять и белые ничего не добиваются. Yeah, maybe maybe c5 was a bit better. Yeah. But okay, it's yes. probably close to a draw. Yeah. В общем, c5, наверное, было лучше, чем b5. Но в любом случае, чем близко к ничьей. But it looks like a draw. Ведь черным надо точно защищаться, но. But I think you already have. I mean, like here, maybe you could go rook c6 here. I didn't really see much against that either. Может быть здесь уже можно молодец c6 пойти. То есть есть несколько путей с ничей. I think black's not in big danger though. Yeah, yeah. Майкл считает, что черные вне опасности уже. Yeah, because if you start playing with b7, of course, I mean it's still a draw, but yeah, I didn't plan to lose this pawn. Yeah. So good. Yeah, and then I play king d7, rook c6, king c7, and okay, if anyone's in danger, it's white probably. Здесь уже только белые могут быть в опасности, хотя это, конечно, ничья. Король живой семь единственный ход, но его легко найти. Все, вопросы? Если ни у кого вопросов нет, то тогда, наверное... А, да, пожалуйста. Можно микрофон? Телеканал «Сто ТВ», Петербург, Игорь Иванов. Ну, вопрос, наверное, не по анализу партии, а вопрос об, общего характера и к Майклу, и к Максиму. Насколько нравится организация турнира здесь, в Петербурге? И насколько, скажем так, здесь вообще нравится? So it's a general question to both players. How do you like the organization of the tournament in St. Petersburg and the atmosphere in general? Okay. Well, um, I mean, it's very nice and uh, we take a lot of pleasure to play in s such conditions, in such an event with a lot of spectators and uh, great conditions of play. So, of course, it's one of the most pleasant tournaments, if not the most, uh, I have been given the occasion to play. Очень хорошие условия, большая ответственность играть в таком прекрасном месте, в таком прекрасном турнире. Это один из лучших турниров, в которых ему доводилось выступать в последнее время. No, I mean, I, I can only agree. The organization is very good. The venues are, are great. It's one of the best tournaments I played in also. Могу только согласиться. Очень хорошая организация, прекрасное место. Тоже один из лучших турниров, в которых я играл. Спасибо.